Once upon a time in a small, quirky town called Wobbleton, there lived a peculiar group of friends, Benny the bumbling inventor, Dotty the daydreaming artist, and Gus the clumsy but good-hearted chef. These three misfits always found themselves tangled up in the most absurd and hilarious situations. One sunny day, Benny decided to unveil his latest invention, the auto umbrella. It was meant to automatically open and close whenever it sensed rain. Eager to test it out, Benny invited Dotty and Gus to join him on a stroll through the town. As they walked, Benny's auto umbrella sprung open every few seconds, mistaking passing birds, squirrels, and even an ice cream vendor's cart for raindrops. It caused a wave of chaos as people dodged the umbrella's spontaneous opening and closing, and the ice cream vendor found himself covered in a melty mess. Gus, being the ever-hungry chef, caught sight of the ice cream and couldn't resist taking a big lick off his arm. Little did he know, that ice cream was actually vanilla-scented paint Dotty was using for her latest masterpiece. Gus's face twisted in surprise as he exclaimed, Whoops! I think I've discovered a new flavor, or they paint a la vanilla. With his tongue now tinged an interesting shade of beige, Gus accidentally bumped into a lump post, causing a small squirrel to fall from the tree above. The squirrel, dazed but determined, mistook Benny's auto umbrella for a potential mate and began vigorously shaking it, assuming it was some kind of courtship ritual. Benny, Dotty, and Gus couldn't contain their laughter as they watched the confused squirrel dance around with the auto umbrella like a squirrel possessed. Passers-by stopped and stared, wondering what on earth was going on. Some even joined in the laughter, making the whole scene even more bizarre. Eventually, the squirrel tired itself out and scampered away, leaving behind a slightly battered auto umbrella. The three friends couldn't help but giggle uncontrollably, wiping away tears of laughter from their eyes. It may not have been the successful test they had hoped for, but it was certainly a memorable day in Wobbleton. As they walked back home, Benny, Dotty, and Gus vowed to continue their misadventures, knowing that in their peculiar world, even the most unexpected situations could bring them together and fill their lives with laughter. And so, the trio of misfits carried on, forever chasing laughter, friendship, and the next ridiculous adventure in the whimsical town of Wobbleton.